Hey friends, this week we are coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verse 19 and 20, where Joseph, who was enslaved by his brothers, you know, put into prison, gone through so many difficult and trying times, has this opportunity where he's actually able to retaliate against his brothers, and he says the following things. But Joseph replies, don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I can punish you? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. He brought me into this position so that I could save the lives of many people. And you know, we hear that and we're like, wow, like how did he not take this delicious moment to retaliate against his brothers? I don't know if I would do the same thing. I don't know if I could sit across someone who I could pot, who's done me so much harm and I can just take their fate into my hands and say to them, you know, what you intended to harm me, God meant for good. I mean, it's such a powerful stance. And in that moment, he takes his story and shifts it. Instead of being this victim, instead of saying, you know, this happened to me and that happened to me and you guys don't know but when you put me into slavery I actually ended up in jail after all of that and I was doing this and I was doing that and you know he didn't use that opportunity to recant all of the harmful things that had happened to him you know he didn't take that opportunity to drill down on them and even take you know revenge and I think that's so so powerful because it shows me that with God we have this power to change our story we have this power to say you know what I know that this happened to me I know that you know I was abused I know that I was heartbroken I know that you know everyone doubted that I would even make it here today but instead of focusing on that I'm gonna focus on the fact that it was intended for my good at the end of the day not even if it's just to look at someone else who is in this situation and say wow you know I have a word for them or I can encourage them even if it was just for that your story can save someone else and you can shift your perspective on that and I think that's so powerful you know especially in today's day and age where you know we might be inclined to let that hardship and let all of those circumstances define who we are we can shift it and we can turn it around and we can make lemonade we can turn our lemons into lemonade and so I really want to encourage you this week to really study the story of Joseph it is so fascinating how you know through all of these really trying circumstances he was able to just keep such a devotion to God and such a devotion to just not getting depressed, not getting into a position where he was not capable to carry out the task that was before him because God took him from slave to prisoner and then to the palace where he was second in command over all of Egypt. And even to have the skills and the wherewithal to take on that challenge of being all of over over all of Egypt was a huge huge task so he didn't allow his circumstances really to define and impact his skills his talents his um, ability to lead and so yeah that's what I want to talk to you about this week I think um, it's really really important I know in my own life I've been through really trying times where you know recently you know going through um, just bad dating situations and just not having much uh, much luck I guess with that and feeling kind of down and like you know I was in a position where I could have said wow well you know woe is me this is always going to be my life I'm really kind of you know upset about this and kind of got on that victim or that pity party train instead I was like you know well what have I learned what were some of the things that God has illuminated in my heart and in my life when it comes to dating when it comes to relationships when it came to men and it helped me to create you know a program for women who were just like me who were heartbroken and didn't know where to turn and so there's so many examples in my own life where I've able been able to take you know a situation something that someone said negatively about me and turn it into my greatest blessing and my greatest gift even my lisp that you all hear today which I'm super insecure about but I always think about you know what if I would have just stopped talking because I had this speech impediment or you know because I didn't like the sound of my voice and 
you know, I'm reminded often that it is our weaknesses, it's through our weaknesses that God allows us to be strong, like God works through those things that we are super insecure about and super vulnerable about. And so really Joseph's story is just that. It is a situation where someone felt super vulnerable and he was able to say, what you intended for my harm, God intended for my good. And it's so powerful because even in reading it, you can see how emotional Joseph is. It's not like he's super stoic about it. You know, when he first sees his brothers, he goes into the next room and starts crying. You know, it it is just such an emotional thing to come face to face with something that was intended to kill you. Like, I'm getting teary thinking about that, you know, how, how, how much grace and how much God strength did he have to have inside of him to refrain from doing what he truly instinctively wanted to do, but knew that like, okay, I have to work with God's agenda. I have to be obedient to the one that kept me all of this time. It is just so powerful. And so I know that this the story and the scripture will encourage you if you feel that you're holding on to uh, resentment and hurt and blame and you feel like you're stuck. Um, just know that there is another side to it. And when you're face to face with someone that harmed you or when you're face to face with, just, with a situation that meant to take you out, just remember these words from Joseph and remember how God has brought you through all of it. And that in turn, because of what you went through, in spite of it all, you're able to help and save someone else. So I pray that this blesses you. Make sure that to stay up to date, you subscribe, that you like, leave me a comment. I love them. I respond back as soon as I can. I really appreciate the encouragement and have a blessed one.